Okay. So, dear friends from all over Asia and all over the world, good morning, good afternoon, and just in case, good evening for some of you. Uh, welcome back to our webinar for today. Uh, we are very happy that uh, we were together in the sessions yesterday. I hope you enjoyed it and was uh, useful for all of us. And uh, I would like to welcome you today by the name of our Asian Gymnastics Union, by Nick myself. And today we will have the uh, sessions, again, two parts. Uh, each part will cover one apparatus. The first uh, lecture or uh, session will be uh, about the uneven bars, and uh, I will be in charge for this. And uh, the second part, after 15 minutes break, it will be about the floor exercise with my colleague Lodmila Lee from Uzbekistan, our technical committee member. And uh, I would like to sh make short reminder again today, please uh, try to make sure that your mic is uh, for uh, during the webinar, especially when we have the uh, explanations. And uh, in case you have uh, any questions, you can write it in the links that uh, Marwan already will uh, send in the chat box. And about the videos, don't worry. You just uh, go, you will go to the chat box uh, for each apparatus. Each link will be for uh, different apparatus and different evaluation. For the D, it will be written for the D, and then for the E, same for the other apparatus. So I recommend you strongly when you want to watch the video, even though I will be sharing my screen and the video on my screen, but most probably it will be lagging or interrupted. So go to the links and you can watch from the uh, link, the video there, and then you can do your own evaluation. Yeah, Rima, which link we, we have to share first? It's okay, I'm just... Uh... Uh, uneven bar D. Okay. Yes. So we are starting with the uneven bar. For me, the, my favorite uh, apparatus, because uh, at least it has not uh, too many details for artistry <laughs> or, or other uh, deductions. It's more uh, plain for me. So today we start with the uneven bar and I'm going to share my screen in a few seconds. And we, can, uh, we will start directly with the five routine evaluation for these scores. So get your papers and pens ready. And uh, I tried to choose for you as interesting uh, routines as possible to make a brainstorm and to get more uh, benefit from the rules to apply. And uh, I'm gonna share the screen right now. And, okay. And I will start with full screen. Can you see? Uh, okay. Can you see, Marwan, just show me thumb up if it's okay? Yes, it's okay. Okay, okay, great. So here we go. For the uneven bars, uh, we try to understand and apply the new rules as per the code of point of 22-24. And here is the most beautiful position, I think, from Nina Derwell. Uh, while doing the Shaposhnikova type, uh, Shaposhnikova type uh, uh, element. And let's start with the D jury evaluation. T try to remember, uh, dear friends, all the difficulty values, especially the new ones which downgraded or upgraded, and try to remember the connections. Not many uh, changes on the bar, just a few. So I hope everything will be okay. If we are ready for the first uh, routine, uh, Marwan already shared the link for uneven bar D videos. I, I think he already shared. Let yeah, me it's uh, the, already shared yes, just now. Already there. Okay, great. So here we go with the first routine. I try to move, but sometimes, ah, okay. Ready, go.
Okay. For the virus routines, we will uh, watch it only once, not as the vault yesterday. And uh, you can uh, watch from the link if you wish uh, more than one part. And then you can start your evaluation. Uh, and I'm gonna start the time, which is 90 seconds for your D evaluation. And time over for the first routine. I hope you could catch to watch the video properly in the, from the link and you could have uh, enough time to evaluate your D score. And uh, if you are ready, I'm gonna share with you my analyze first uh, routine. Oops. So as you can see here, um, I have to get rid of this. Uh, to see you better, okay. To, I mean, to see my sheets. Uh, the interesting part in this routine, the Jaeger straddle with fall on apparatus, unfortunately. Poor girl, she had uh, not good luck uh, in the first flight element. So as you can see here, she had uh, after the Stalder half turn, uh, the Jaeger straddle, but she fall on apparatus before grasping on the bar. And that's why it's not according to the uh, requ uh, technical requirement. And that's why we don't give any value in addition to the one point fall from the E jury. And uh, we talk about the CR later. And then we had the pack salto and we had the pike salt circle and then uh, Meloni, which is Shaposhnikova, but from toes on the bar. And then we had the shoot over C evaluated because was not in the 10 degree or we call it Tarzan uh, elements and then we had the the pike soul circle full turn which is D and then here we had the toes on uh, straddle move to the high bar and uh, since we have here the pike soul circle the melony and the pike soul circle full turn this is the fourth one as a root skill because uh, even though, though different uh, symbol, but it's toes on the bar. So from the same root skill, from the same entry. And that's why unfortunately there is no DD, nothing. And then we continue with the giants uh, before the dismount. And then we have the double layout dismount as a D. And uh, remember as per the new rules, uh, every D or higher uh, dismount will receive 0 0.2 uh, bonus or a dismount uh, bonus. Uh, for the dismount, if some of you have some question marks, um, it was our evaluation, me and my technical committee, to give the uh, double layout, although it seems for some of you maybe a little bit piking, but for me and for us, we decided to give the D and uh, deduct for snap in the beginning. And maybe you can deduct, of course, uh, for piking early or failure to maintain stretched body in the uh, double layout salto. So uh, back to the uh, difficulties, we have four Ds, which is the pack uh, salto, the melanie, 
the pike salt circle full twist and uh, the double layout dismount. And we have a three C's, which is the Stalder half turn, the shoot over or Tarzan, and uh, the uh, pike salt circle over here. And one B, you can get any B <clears throat> from the giants. So the difficulties are 2.7. The CR, it's only one because unfortunately here, when she fell on the apparatus, not grasping the hands first. So uh, she don't, didn't receive the flight element on the same bar, composition requirement number two, and she didn't receive the composition requirement number uh, three, which is the two different grip. And that's why we have only composition requirement one point, and we have uh, no connections, uh, but uh, for this mount point two, and the total D score is 3.9. So I hope uh, you are okay also with your evaluation. I hope, you, I hope you agree with us. And if you are okay, we can move to the second routine for today for the score evaluation. Here I have uh, some explanation before we move to the second uh, routine about the root skill. Just a reminder, it's nothing new. Uh, only three elements in chronological order from the same root skill will be counted for the difficulty value, for the composition requirement, and for the connection value. Of course, except uh, the keeps, uh, the giants, whether forward or backward, in any grip, and of course, the casts to handstand. And you have the example down here, we already know, the so uh, hip, free hip circle to handstand full turn, it's D, and we have the Shaposhnikova D, we have the Hindorf, E, and in the end, we have the dismount toes on to salto forward, uh, tack full twist, no value because it's the fourth uh, root elements. It uh, XPG technical committee, nothing new. Just wanted to give you a short reminder. Now moving to routine number two. If you are ready, please go to the link and click on video number two. And I'm gonna share also the video here on my screen. Ready, go. Okay, routine is done. And I'm gonna start the duration again for your evaluation as D.
Okay. Time over. I hope you could catch to evaluate within the time. And if you are ready, we can move to our analyze. The second uh, routine was for uh, the gymnast uh, Elizabeth Black from Canada. And uh, we have in the beginning here, um, Melanie, which is D, and uh, connected to, to Hindorf, which is E, and uh, D plus E. Uh, since it's from down to up and the other one on the high bar, it's a 0.2 bonus. And then we have the second, uh, Hindorf with a pike position, which is Shang. And uh, remember the ticket chef rules as per the new uh, rules. And since it's the same route for ticket chef, then unfortunately, even though this is with the uh, higher value, but we don't uh, count it as difficulty because it's repeated according to the ticket chef rules. And then moving to the Jaeger straddle connected to Pax Salto, D plus D.1 because on the high bar and the rest from high to low bar. And then we have the pike salt circle. C, we have the um, Van Leeuwen, which is the Shaposhnikova with half turn, E, and then moving to the giant full turn, C, and the dismount, unfortunately, we counted it only pike because there was uh, more piking in the hip, uh, hip angle than stretched body. And uh, as per the, according to the difficulties, we have two E's, three E's, E's and two E's. And why we got only seven elements? Because unfortunately the dismount is not counted. So don't forget when we don't count the dismount, we have to count for the DV only seven elements, same rules. And that's why we have here only seven elements two E's, three D's, and two C's. So the difficulty value is 2.8. Uh, moving to the composition requirements, we have them all. We have the flight on the same bar. We have two different grips and the close bar elements, and we have the full turn. So two points for the composition requirement. And uh, moving to the connection values, as I said, we have here 0 0.2, the Melanie to Hindorf, and we have here 01, the Jaeger straddle to Paxalto. Oops, sorry. And uh, no other connections and no dismount and no dismount uh, bonus. So the D score is 5.1. I hope you agree. And uh, we have to be very careful always after we write down our uh, routines to take uh, to pay attention to the root skills and also now newly to the ticket chef root skills, just in case. I'm gonna share with you the root skills for Tikachev also, just a reminder of the new rules. Only the Tikachev type element without turn from each line in the table of elements will be recognized in chronological order. What it does mean without turns, it means if we have, uh, for example, Hindorf, the one we had in the routine before, and then we have, uh, Filipa Martinez, which is the uh, Hindorf with half turn. This won't be valid because this is with half turn or like the Tikat Chef and Tikat Chef half turn. Both are okay. It's only should be repeated or not valid uh, when it's uh, both same entries, but different uh, body shapes, straddle or pike. Okay, I hope it's clear now. Moving to the routine number three. If you are ready, please go to the link and click for video number three, the evaluation. And I'm gonna share the video here also. Go.
Okay. I'm gonna start the period, one and a half minutes for the evaluation. Time over. Hope you are okay. Moving to our uh, routine analysis. Uh, oops. What's this? I don't know where this uh, red lines came from, but let's ignore. Uh, we have the Jaeger in the beginning, which is D, and then we have the Paxalto D. And here we have also sensitive or special case, but it's not new. The pike salt circle to handstand with full turn. Uh, Tamara from Kazakhstan, what are you doing to my sheet? <laughs> I think something wrong on my sheets. Somebody just a scratch. I try to go back and maybe come back again. Terima, I, I will do, I will do. Please Marwan. SOS, save me from this. <laughs> it's not uh, in my hand. I, it's not what I did, this uh, scratch. Just somebody, somehow, by accident, I'm sure. Anyway, uh, so for the pike sole circle, handstand, full turn. Thank you very much, Marwan. Please teach me later how you did it so I can uh, learn better. <laughs> the pike sole circle, handstand with full turn. It was uh, out of the tolerated uh, degree, which is 10 degree, okay? And then fall occur, but since the gymnast was able to regrasp again and finish the full turn before uh, falling, so we, uh, de we give the value, but de evaluate it. So from D to C, plus of course the deduction from E jury about the fall, okay? And then uh, we continue with the uh, Van Leeuwen E, and then Gingert, we have the D, and we have the Pikesol circle, B, and the dismount, salto backward, tuck, C. So for the uh, difficulties, we have one E, three D, three Cs, and one A. So the, amount, the total is 2.7. And uh, the con composition requirement are okay. We have the, from up to down, high to low bar. We have the flight on the same bar. We have close bar element and we have to do different grips. So, and the full turn, all is okay. No connections or dismount bonus. And the D value is 4.7. I hope you are okay with your evaluation and uh, all fine. And if we are done, moving to the exercise number four, the evaluation for today. If you are ready, please go to the link again and click for exercise number four. Here we go.
I'm so sorry, forgive me, forget to start the time, but no problem. I gave you a gift, uh, extra bonus time. <laughs> I think the time is more than enough for this short uh, routine, but uh, still it was my fault. So I would keep the time running until the end and then we can, okay, time over. Now we can go directly to the routine analyze. Uh, as I said, it's short routine, but it's not short exercise because uh, luckily she was on the border. So she had seven elements, at, as you can see here, the start uh, twist to hang on the high bar, A, and then she had the keep on the high bar, A. She had the cast with the pike half turn to uh, grasp again on the bar, which is B. Where's my cursor? Ah. And then she had the straddle cut on high bar, A, and the free hip circle to handstand, C though it was with the much arch, but she continued to the other side. And we have the giant B, and then we have the straight salto backward, which is A, but sorry, we don't have the all the symbols. So I use the symbols for all. So if you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven elements, as I said, she's in the border. So no short exercise, but in general, it's short routine. And the difficulty values is one C, two Bs and four As. So the DV is 1.1. Moving to the composition requirement, as you can see here, she has only the flight element on the same bar, which is the B difficulty. And uh, there is no uh, flight from high bar to low bar. There is no two different grips and there is no full turn 360 degree. So as you can see here, the missing composition requirement and we, that's why we give only 0 0.5 for the flight on the same bar. And the D-score is 1.6, quite short and full routine, but I think it's interesting example also for our D evaluation. I hope you match and agree with our evaluation. And let's move to the next routine. I think the last routine for today's D evaluation, please click from the link routine number five. Ready, steady, go. Okay, this is the last routine and let me start for you the 90 second evaluation period.
time over and we can move to the analyze as you can see here we have uh, again plenty of root scales uh, we have the first element which is pike soul circle to handstand with full turn which is d and followed with uh, meloni uh, which is d and again followed with pack salto d the first connection zero one on the low bar and then from low to high the second connection from high from low bar to high bar and then from high bar to low bar so again only zero one and uh, we have here the pike salt circle c so already if you see my numbers here this is number one root scale number two and number three and uh, for the van lewin Unfortunately, even though it's E difficulty value, but we give nothing because it's the fourth root skill. And moving there also, we again have the pike soul circle half turn, which is C, but again, no value because it's the fifth root skill. So only three allowed as per the rules. And that's why no values here. And then we have the corkina D, and then we have the giant and the dismount D, which is uh, plus two bonus for D or higher difficulty for dismounts. So if we move to the difficulty values, we have five Ds and we have one C, one B and one A, oops, sorry. And the total is 2.6. And then we have the full requirement for the composition requirement. And then we have uh, zero, two for the connections and zero two for the dismount. So the total D score is five point. I hope you share with us the same opinion. And uh, it was interesting routine since it has uh, five elements from the same roots. That's why we tried to choose. And uh, that's Rima, I have a question. Uh, do we give a, a different grip if we don't give uh, like this um, value for skill? If the, if there is no value, then nothing. Why? No D. If there is no but DB, then we should not give a grip requirement, right? No, but we have Corkina. We have Corkina for grip requirement. Corkina okay. is counted. It's valid element. We have Corkina. The Okay. Um, reverse giant the to uh, counter straddle. So we have the different. Thank okay. you. Okay. Okay. So if it's okay for you, we are done with the D evaluation. We can move directly to five routines for E evaluation. Okay. Here is the E evaluation. Before we start, also kindly remember. The all the deductions, uh, the general and especially the specific apparatus deduction, and uh, we don't have uh, much changes. Only it's added to the new code the brush on the mat again. So zero point three again for brush on the mats, and I think nothing uh, else. Uh, all you know already about the deductions. Moving to the first routine, if you are ready. Uh, Marwan, can you share with us, please, the link for the uneven bar E videos? Uh, let me check the chat. Maybe he already shared. Marwan, can you share the link for the E yeah, yeah. uneven yes, bar? Uh, yeah, now. Okay, thank you. I'm doing the link. It will be sent within. No two, problem. No problem. Few seconds. They can uh, they can recover and do their calculation until we start. No problem. Hello.
And the link has been shared there, Rima. Thank you very much, Marwan. I'm trying to check because somebody told me that we have to check the D score for a uh, routine number three. And they said that the DV should be two six. I don't know why. We have one E, I'm just double checking. And we have three Ds, which is one, two, and three. Yes, and we have three Cs, which is, yes, one, the evaluated one, two, and three, and one A. We don't have Bs. So it's a zero 05 for the E and 1.2 for the three Ds, three C is zero 09 and one A. Total is DV. No, it's two seven. I think you had the miscalculation. It's two seven. Okay. Moving to the E routines. And here we go for the first routine. Click the link and follow E1. Here we go. Okay, another interesting routine for E. I'll give 60 seconds now only for E evaluation. Time over. I hope you are ready for the first deduction of the first E routine. And as you can see here, uh, it was not very a uh, good day for the poor gymnast. We have. Uh, I will not go through the every single small uh, deduction. I would just go quickly and uh, more uh, concentrate on the big uh, errors and deductions. So for the Jaegers, as you can see here, the H is for the height, for the arms and knees. Of course, always uh, in the cast to handstand or the keeps, if you see point one, it's for the extension in the uh, hand, uh, in the keeps or the uh, casts. Uh, Pax Salto, we have zero one for the angle. 
uh, and uh, we have Melanie for the knees zero one. We have for the shoot over uh, zero one for the angle of completion of elements and one for the leg separation. For the uh, we have here the big deductions for the bike salt circle full turn with the fall and of course it's de-evaluated because it was out of the ten degree. Plus we had zero one for leg separation. Uh, and zero 05 for the angle, completion of element, and one for the fall, one point. Uh, moving to the other uh, pike salt circle, it was even bigger deduction here because she had the 0.3 for leg separation, 0.5 for bent knees, and 0.5 for the angle of the element, besides the one fall uh, point for the fall. So quite big, uh, large deduction here and interruption of routine. And again, for the extensions, for the height, and for the dismount, we have the knees and the hops. So the total deduction is 5.2, twofold and with the rest. Of course, this is our uh, evaluation, and it can differ a little bit from one uh, judge to another. Approximately, it's our evaluation. If you are okay and done with this first routine, let's move to the second one for E evaluation. Please go to the link and click for video number 2E. Here we go. Okay, routine is over. Let's start the period for 60 second e evaluation. Time over, let's move to see our deduction. Uh, in here, we can see uh, for each element some uh, zero ones, like for the extensions in the keeps and the uh, turns, angles. We have the 0.3 uh, angle for the shoot over from high bar to low bar, 0.3. And then again, some points ones for the Stalder uh, move to high bar and uh, casts and uh, standard full turn. We have 0.1 for leg separation, 0.1 for bent knees and 0.5 for the angle because it was quite uh, missed the completion of the turn angle. And we have again on the giant uh, 0.1 for bent arms and 0.5 hit the bar, as you could see during the routine. For Tikachev, we have 0.3 for the height and 0.1 for under rotation. And again, for the pike salt circle to half turn, we have 0.3 for leg separation on the handstand position, 0.1 for arms and uh, bent, and for 0.1 for poor rhythm in elements. And for the giant forward, we have a 0.3 for bent knees, 0.1 for leg separation, and 0.1 for bent arms. And finally, for the kiss mount, 
double salto forward tuck. We have the 0.14 leg separation, 0.3 for body position in landing. If you remember, it was not deep squat, but it was also not 0 01. So we deduct 0 02, uh, sorry, 0 03 for body position in landing. And then we have the 0.1 for the step. So the total deduction, e deduction, it would be 4.4. I hope you are okay and agreeing. If we are done with this, moving to exercise number three for the e-evaluation. Again, please go proceed to the link and click for routine number three. And I'm gonna play it on my screen here, just in case. Routine is over. And I'm sorry for this routine, a poor girl, poor gymnast, but I try to have more brainstorms about the, all the e deduction. And I'm going to start the evaluation of 60 seconds. Time over. I hope you could catch the time to evaluate all your e-deduction. Again, I'm sorry to choose this exercise. It was a never a good day for the poor gymnast and lots of um, deductions, medium and big uh, or, uh, errors and deductions, but it's uh, good to evaluate and remember all the e-deductions and the specific apparatus deductions. So if you can see here, uh, I would not go through the small ones, of course, but uh, we had the first intermediate swing here after the through and sit on the high bar. And then after the cut straddle, we have again here uh, the through sit uh, on the bar, on the high bar again. So it's again 0 0.5 intermediate swing for the interruption of the routine and then here we had the one point hit the mat in the way down after she performed the uh, swing and uh, pike soul circle and uh, going back to the low bar. And then after uh, the keep, we had again 0 05 as an intermediate swing. On the handstand straddle to half turn, we had 0 0.3 for body alignment, 0 0.3 for the angle, and 0 0.1 again for hit the mat, unfortunately. And then here for the cast uh, extension uh, in the cast to handstand 0.3. And here on the clear hip circle to handstand 0, 01, also for the angle. Uh, of course, it's evaluated as well. And we move continuing again for the cast 0.3. Uh, for the move element from low bar to high bar, we have 0.3 for the height and 0.1 for under rotation. And then again, cast uh, uh, extension in the keep. Casts and then again after the hip circle we have again 0 0.3 uh, 
uh, as an intermediate swing, cast to handstand 0.3 for the angle and body extension. And in the dismount, we had uh, 0.1 for each of the height and the landing uh, deductions. So uh, it will be in total, unfortunately, 8.1 for the E deduction. I know it's not easy to, to evaluate when the level is uh, quite weak or low and uh, it's uh, full of uh, errors and deductions, but it's good to remember and uh, try to memorize and uh, apply all the deductions. I hope you agree with our deductions. And if we are done with this routine, moving to routine number four, watch from the link, please. And we can start. Routine is over and let's go for the duration of 60 second evaluation for E. Time over, let's move to see our deduction. So as you can see here, we have also the point ones uh, for the legs and uh, body alignment. For the Jaeger, we have point one for the height, point one for bent knees, for the chicat shape um, with toes on or uh, ray, we have the one, 0.1 for bent knees and 0.1 for the feet. And moving also to pack salto, we have 0.1 for bent knees, 0.1 for leg separation, 0.1 for the height. Moving to the hip circle, which is A group, we have 0.1 for body alignment and we have 0.5 as an intermediate swing because she had to go after the pack salto into the front, uh, into the um, clear or close uh, our, uh, hip circle. And then in the keep here, we had a, uh, two small critical points. We have, uh, regardless the body extension in the keeps and zero one for uh, bent knees and zero one for bent arms. We have the, the zero three for the brush the mat. Actually, you would see uh, later, she had uh, two time touching the mat or brushing the mat. But the first one, it was in the, during the intermediate swing. And that's why we calculated only intermediate swing. And the second time we deduct the new deduction again as brush the mat, 0.3. Moving to the ray with half turn, uh, sorry, pike sole circle with half turn, 0.1 again for leg separation and 0.5 for the angle was quite late in the turn. And of course it will be the evaluated element. And then moving from low bar to high bar, 0.1 for the feet, 0.1 for the height. And again, here for body shape, uh, alignment. And for the dismount, we have 
Point 0.1 for the feet not pointed, point 0.1 for the height, point 0.1 for body position in landing, and point 0.1 for the hop. So the total deduction is 3.9, can be 4 or 4.1, 4.2, uh, not a big uh, difference. Uh, I would like to share with you uh, the screenshots of the moment that the gymnast touches the mat on the way down uh, during, uh, after the back salto and keep uh, hip circle. And when she went uh, down, swinging and then uh, hesitate and doing intermediate swing before she continued to the glide keep. So on the left side, this is the first touch and there's no deduction for mat brush but only for intermediate swing, as I said, because she touches the, uh, she brushes the mats during the intermediate swing and it's not an element. So we give only the higher deduction, which is 0.5. In the second picture on the right of the slide, the second touch is uh, deduction 0.3, uh, as I showed you in our analyze to, for brushing the mats, the new deduction. And this is because it was during an element, which is here in this example was the keep. I hope it's clear now. Moving to the last exercise for today, uh, routine number five for e-evaluation. So if you are ready, please go and click the link for the last exercise as e-evaluation for today. And I'm gonna play it here. Routine is done. This was the last routine for today. And I'll give you the period of 30 seconds again. And time over, let's move to our evaluation for the last routine. I wanted on purpose to choose this clean and nice performance of the Ashton Locklear from USA to give you uh, in the last moment uh, something nice and uh, to feel better with our evaluation with this nice and uh, clean routine and clean performance. So as you can see here, not much deduction for the E, we had the, in the pike salt circle, uh, zero one for body alignment and zero one for the angle. And then nothing in the Shaposhnikova to Stalder. And uh, pack salto zero one for leg separation. It was quite high and nice. We had uh, nothing for the Meloni and uh, for shoot over zero one for pit leg separation. And then uh, we had the uh, zero one for poor rhythm in elements while turning on the pike salt circle half turn and uh, nothing for the Jaeger. For handstand half turn again, zero one for the angle. And for the dismount, we have uh, zero one for the height and zero one for lack of balance. So my total deduction is zero eight, could be zero nine or one point maximum. 
I think it was quite a clean performance, nice routine with the nice lines. And uh, as I said, I wanted to choose a good one in the end to give you again a moral and uh, good motivation for a good e evaluation. So I hope you agree with me uh, with these deductions. As I said, it's uh, our evaluation and uh, it can differ a little bit more or less with the other judges' friends. Thank you very much. I would like to thank you for your attention. And uh, I wish you all to have more success, more luck, and more health, more important. And uh, that's it for the bar for today. I will stop sharing my screen now. And actually, we are uh, behind the, the program. We finished a bit earlier. If you don't mind, we can continue after the break directly with the floor exercise uh, Floor, floor routines with our colleague uh, Ludmila, but now we can have a 15 minutes break and we are a bit uh, before the time. It means we were doing great and I hope everybody is here. So no problem if we can start the floor earlier than the uh, programmed time. Thank you very much. And uh, dear Marwan, you can pause the recording for a 15 minutes a short break. Thank you, see you in a while. I have to repeat again. Okay, so I hope everyone is back again after the short break and we resume our session for today with the second apparatus, which is the floor exercise, the most beautiful apparatus in our artistic gymnastics for women. And uh, I hope you enjoy it with our colleague, uh, the technical committee member, Ludmila Lee from Uzbekistan. So dear Luda, I will leave the floor for you and uh, I hope everything will go smooth and uh, don't worry, I'll try to back up you and I'll prepare also your presentation just in case, but so far, hopefully your connection is quite well. So please, I will leave the floor for you and I, would, uh, I will be here anyway for any other explanations. Thank you so much, Rima and Marwan. I'm glad to see all of you on our Radio VAC TC webinar. I hope our efforts will be useful for our future work and successful judging. We start the most beautiful apparatus in women artistic gymnastics where girls can show themselves from the best side, showing and demonstrating their best qualities to the audience, coaches, and judges. I really love this apparatus, like you too especially if the gymnast managed to choose beautiful structures music, implement the idea of musical accompaniment, and successful complete all acre and death elements. And for this competition rules are very demanding. Let's focus on floor exercise. It will be not difficult like uneven bars, <laughs> much easier, I think. Only five routines, same for D and E evaluation. Now we will begin to judge only D. Uh, sorry, Marwan, a kind reminder to share the floor exercise D videos on the chat box before we start the evaluation. Yeah, sure. So, so just, uh... Sorry, somebody from China asked me to uh repeat the or reply the e deduction picture but i'm sorry it's too late now because i couldn't uh, read everything while i'm uh, explaining but i i hope it's okay Rima, so you it's anyway you will see it recorded later on the youtube yes marwan it's fxd yes it's a uh, floor yes floor exercise d exactly F -F fxd okay, yeah thank you. and somebody say no sounds but i think now it's okay uh, it was odd, I think, because we wasn't okay. Big. Okay, okay, nothing uh, special then. Okay. Uh, I try to uh, prepare uh, Luda's uh, presentation on my screen also, just in case. I hope nothing will happen, but in case, I will uh, share the room. Yes, but I'm. I cannot uh, close my previous. Uh, 
screen my previous presentation. I pushed the escape, but I cannot manage. Can I share? Around. Yes, yes, you can share. Okay. okay. Yes, but uh, if you can, please, Luda, make it a uh, full screen slideshow. I made slideshow. Ah, okay, let me see. Uh, it's not full screen. Just go to the yeah. very left and uh, push yeah. the uh, Man, slideshow the from the beginning. Press F5, F5. F5? Yes, either F5 or you have on your very left uh, corner. Now? Nachala. Not yet. No. I don't know why. It's not yet full screen, yes, Marwan, or I'm only one, the no, only no, one who's seeing still, this. Still, still not. Uh, yes, no, push no. this, Nachala. Nachala, do you see it? Nachala Kluch, da, 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 yes. come. This one, this one, on the blue, you can see? Or I tell her about the other one on the very top, uh, on the left. It's the same, okay. Again? Yeah, try this. On my screen, full. Yeah. Uh, really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lodmela, I know the, the uh, what is that exactly? Because you, sh you share the PowerPoint itself, OK? So you can uh, now disable sharing and share your whole screen, OK? So you can stop sharing and share again the full screen, not only specific program. Mm -hmm. This one, yes. Yeah. Stop sharing and then share again. Yeah, you can share yes. again. Now, yeah. okay? Yeah, super. Now it's okay. Okay. Let's start. Uh, mm. Don't worry, you can push somewhere else and then try to go with the uh, arrows up and down or enter. Yes. Okay, <laughs> okay ladies and men, let's start. Marvan, you share links, yes? Already. Yeah, I think. already shared, yes. So let's start with the first routine for floor we exercise. Can. Okay, as you could see, it's quite lagging and no music, but don't worry, please go and uh, play your video from the link.
Okay, so uh, please, uh, Ludmila, inform them that we started already the period for the evaluation for the D on yeah. floor, it's 90 seconds. I'm over. Let's analyze. You can see this routine is not so difficult for judging. There is only one question moment where switch leap to ring, we devaluate to split <coughs> switch. Which leap Which half leap. turn and half turn okay 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 second acro line c plus c connection value plus one and don't forget about dismount bones and we see Acro element 1E, 1D, 2C, dense element 3C, 1B, difficult value 2.6, composition requirements 2 point, connection value 0.1, and dismount bonus 0.2, D score 4.9. Everybody the same. Okay, great. I can see screenshot about switch leap to ring. You see not enough arch and back leg below le shoulders. shoulders level. Let's continue. Second routine. Uh, can you show one more time the score sheet, please? Okay. Score sheet. You analyze. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Okay. You are ready? Start.
time over. Let's check. It's very interesting routine. We can see torn connection, E plus B, point one, second acro line, double tag, salto forward, direct acro connection plus one. DA. DA. New next about torn with held new in the new cycle. Very sorry, but <laughs> it's impossible to count. We can count only with free leg without help. So That's sorry, uh, sorry, Luda, just to help you in this explanation. So uh, last uh, cycle, we were counting it as different variation for the turn. For this cycle, the free leg must be a minimum at horizontal and free. In case of holding, we will count it like normal free uh, double turn on the toes, as you can see here on Luda's sheet. Okay. Yes, it becomes only double turn in free position. Mm -hmm. And uh, repetition. That's why no, nothing. Illusion. Because she, had it, because she had it in the beginning uh, after yes. the full, yes. uh, full four turn. Okay. Yes. Illusion turn. We know requirements. Shoulders and hips must complete the turn before the free leg is placed. A little bit support foot is allowed at the beginning, approximately 45 degree. You can see on my screenshot. That's why again, nothing. Sort of acroline C plus C, plus point one and about dance passage second hope again new requirements without bent legs we devaluate to hopeful turn stretch position only group a Let's count acro one E, one D, two C, dense elements one E, one C, two B. Difficult value 2.7, composition requirements 2.0, E connection value 0.3, D score 5.0. I hope you agree with us. Sorry, Luda, and thank you very much for your analyze. Yes, I, I think I need this slide. So here uh, for the, no, the illusion, please. Can you go back to the illusion slide? Okay. So here, I think for the illusion, she had uh, still the tolerated the degree for the starting with the feet, but the, Illusion doesn't count because she didn't turn and finish her turn with the hip and shoulder before she placed the free leg. That's why we didn't give the value, right? Thank yes. you very much. Let's move. Sort routine. Mm -hmm. Please, I still receive some uh, complaint about the video lagging. Uh, we already told you many times, please, dear friends, try to watch the videos from the uh, chat section, the links that we already sent you for the floor exercise, uh, dear routines, and not from the screen shared. Okay, thank you. Yes, let's start.
time over. As you notice, the gymnast tried to perform a double turn with a bent leg in front with hand hold, but dropped the heel. It becomes only group A, simple turn. First acro line, Randos whip salto and double salto, A plus D. Last one. Then she tried, uh, she did triple turn in stack stand position and double. We count only one because only one turn we can chronological order. That's why second nothing. Yes, this is also the um, new rules uh, as for the uh, new cycle. So not more than one turn in the tuck stand, whether on the floor or on the beam. Thank you. Yes. Acro elements 2D, 1C, 1A. Dense element 1E, 1C, 2B. Difficult value 2.4 all composition requirements and connection value 0.1. D score 4.5. You can see on my screenshot. Okay, let's continue. Sorry, mm -hmm. Sorry. so as you may all know, dear friends, all the uh, turns should be uh, demonstrated and performed uh, with the prescript position and uh, give the technical requirements. So the moment the gymnast dropped the heel, the turn uh, would uh, considered finished, okay? And she dropped it before she complete the second turn. Even she was in the one and a half, since in the floor there is no one and a half and we go increments uh, for uh, each one turn, that's why she considers only one turn. Thank you. Thank you. And sorry, Luda, another uh, point in the uh, regarding the previous uh, routine for the hopeful leg uh, up, somebody from Singapore, Peg, I think she asked, she didn't hold her leg. Yes, we didn't talk about holding leg for the hopeful turn. We were talking about the double turn with the free leg on horizontal, the previous, uh, the previous um, routine, hmm. not this. Yeah, but the but the hopeful turn. If you can show, yes, please your uh, uh, sheets for the previous one. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. here uh, uh, before the last turn, the hopeful turn. Yes, now Luda tried to show with her cursor. Uh, we didn't give uh, the C value because of the bent legs, bent free legs. Okay, so we yes. considered it like a straight, simple full turn. Okay, in the air. And we deduct, uh, of course, the usual will deduct for bent legs. And that's why it's not C, but A. But it has nothing to do with holding the legs or not. Of course, she didn't hold, but she was benching the front leg. Okay, I hope it's clear now, dear Peg. Thank you, Luda. Sorry for the interruption. You may go on with the next routine. Okay.
time. Okay, time 90 seconds. I'm over. We looked at quite simple exercise, but here to the, the questions and doubts about the performance which lead to ring and split lip rip to ring. We count the first one, you see, but second, no. I can show for understanding. This is first one. Back leg is bent less than 135 degree, but it will be a part of body shape deduction. Second jump. No, you see below shoulders level. That's why on the A, we count acro 1D, 1C, 1B, 1A. Dance element 1C, 2B, 1A. Difficult value 1.8. All composition requirements, D score 3.8. Thank you, Luda. Just one second, please. Another question from San Giovanni. She asked even the first leap, no. If you talk about this routine, we gave the switch leap to ring value, which is C, but we didn't give for the second one as Luda explained already, very nice uh, in the screen shots or on the, in the picture, it was, yes, on the right side, lower than the shoulder height. But if you talk about the previous routine, I already don't remember uh, what you asked about. Somebody asked about the wolf turn 360. No. <laughs> Sorry, you cannot ask about what we already uh, finished, but you can ask in the end of this uh, webinar. So let's continue with our uh, routines. Thank you. Last one, D score.
time over. Let's analyze. Side split jump with full turn pop up is okay. We see two indirect acro connections C plus E and D plus D, both of them point two. Each. Each, <laughs> each of them, yes. And uh, this cycle jump with full turn only A. Acro elements 1E, 2D, 2C. Dense element 1D, 1C, 1A. Difficulty value 2.7 all composition requirements and connection value 0.4. D score 5.1. Thank you, Luda. And please remember that we took the A even though it's low value because we have to take minimum three dance elements. So don't forget, even sometimes you might see a more higher difficulty, but we have to take minimum three dance. And that's why we included the A turn. Thank you, Luda. Uh, last element raises dots as a stretch or tag position, salta forward with one and a half turn. I show you picture. Mm -hmm. We consider the position of the tag if angle and hip and knee angle inside the less than 90 degree. That's why we consider it stretch cycle. Of course, with deduction uh, from the e jury yes. about the bent legs. But yes. since the angle of the hip and knees uh, is uh, not less than 90, that's why we consider it straight. Well yes. done. Thank you, Luda. Okay. Now, only e score the same video sorry luda excuse me uh somebody would like uh, us kindly to show again the last sheet last yeah your last sheet this one yeah i think this one they said the last sheet ah I don't know, again, San Giovanni, you ask in dance connection, she landed on two feet in first jump? No. I think no, I think no, she landed on one leg. So it yes. was a, a straight jump, but landing on one leg, it was like a hop straight. So mm -hmm. no issues about the dance connection. And, sorry. I, I couldn't understand the question. The dancers dance series with full with jump full turn. Is it allowed? What do you mean? I don't know. Of course, in the second um, in the second element of the dance series, she can land both legs. But it's important not to land both legs in the first uh, dance element. It That be pirouettes. That's why it's fine as long as she land in the first uh, dance element with one leg. If it's the question, uh, though we said that we will have the question in the end, end of the webinar. But sorry, Luda, because sometimes it's better to answer in that moment. Otherwise, it's hard to go back in the chat okay. box. And then, okay, we showed already the the sheets. Thank you. No more issues. Uh, okay, nothing else. Okay. Now, uh, dear Marwan, can you give the link for the floor exercise E videos, please? Uh, uh, Rima, I think the, it's okay. The same video. Yes, yes. Same videos, but I think um, Marwan uh, told me that it's better always to share again for the, I don't know, the technical issues. So anyway, it's the same. You can go to the same link or we will give you again link for floor exercise E's. So let's yeah. proceed with the first E evaluation. Start. 
you can refer to the same links as the D, okay? For people who ask for the link. You have one minute. Time over. Double salt attack with full turn. You can see three for large step, leg separation and slight fall. Side split jump with full turn. One for precision, one body shape. Switch leap to ring. Five for body shape. Switch leap with half turn. One for body shape, one for precision, one for height. Tour jeté with half turn. The same one, one, one. Second acra line, one for legs apart. One for height and large step. Again, legs apart. Elastic line, double bike. Feet not pointed and slight hop. Artist reduction. Poor body posture, insufficient amplitude. Maximum elongation of the movements. Heat not pointed or relaxed. And insufficient complexity or creativity of movements throughout the exercise and poor choreography in the corner. Total execution 2.6. Artistry 0.5, e-deduction 3.1. You can see same position, 
in two different corners. Very good. And uh, good to explain with the pictures also. Thank you, Luda. And uh, as you uh, can see, dear friends, now the artistry deduction, it take more importance uh, cycle by cycle because uh, the name of our uh, gymnastics is artistic gymnastics. For me, it's coming from art. And that's why, please, I recommend you to have your checklist uh, for the artistry on beam and floor. And you can follow after every routine, uh, just in case not to forget any, and you can apply your artistry deduction. If you have the checklist, it will be easy to remember and to apply. Thank you. Moving to the second routine for today, Eve. Thank you. Start. I'm over. Not too much deductions. You can see only point one, 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 one for leg separation, one for step, one for balance. On the turn, only body shape and precision. Many deduction for illusion turn, three for body shape, one for precision and and for hop three for body shape, total two point two, and for artistry only two for poor, poor body posture and insufficient amplitude of body movements. Total E deduction, 2.4. Thank you, Luda. Again, I, I will give a very short uh, 
support explanation. So as you can see, dear friends, uh, sometimes if the routine is uh, performed nice or with a, a nice artistry, we don't have to deduct that much. But uh, also when you see any lack of uh, artistry, you have to apply the deduction accordingly. And uh, here is a reminder again, dear San Giovanni, or I don't know, Peg maybe from Singapore about the hopeful turn. We didn't give the value before when we evaluated the routine as D, not because of holding the leg, but because of bending the legs. And here you can see we deducted 0.3 for body shape for bending the legs. Thank you. Thank you. Let's continue. Mm -hmm. Second routine. Oh, sorry, sir. Okay, routine done. Luda, starting your evaluation period of 60 seconds. Time over. You can see first door three for body shape, one for precision, one for balance. Acro line, one for leg separate, one for step. One for adjustment in the corner, step without choreography. One leg for apart, one step, one balance. One, one for body shape and precision. Triple turn again, one for body shape, one for precision. Second only for body shape. Dance passage, one, one, one for body shape, precision and height. Second jump again for body shape and height. And last acra, once for step and slide hop. Three point for artistry, for poor body posture, insufficient complexity of creativity of movements, 
throughout exercise and poor choreography in the corner. Again, I can show screenshot. Yeah, so That's as you why. can see here, sorry, yeah. Can you show again, Luda, please? Yes, of So course. as you can see here, it's very uh, proper example to show how there is no variety in the choreography in corners, same position, pre or every uh, acrobatic band. And um, could be the artistic also maybe another point one for the uh, inception amplitude. So far it's okay. Uh, that's uh, why E deduction total 2.6. Let's move to force routine. Start. I'm over. You can see if on flick flag leg separation, double tuck, three for body posture fold, one for height, one for leg apart in landing, turn one for precision, switch lip to ring, one for body shape, one for height, split lip to ring three for body shape and one for height. Salto forward stretch, three for big hop and step, one for slight hop, one for height and one for leg apart. Turn and stack with position, one body shape, one for balance. And plus acra, one for height, one leg cross in the twist and slight hop. Artistry for insufficient involvement of body parts, poor excessive engagement according to the music style, insufficient complexity or creativity. 
throughout the exercise in the corners and no structure of the music. Total 0 0.5. Total E deduction 3.0. Thank you. Let's continue. Last routine. Start. Time over. Side split jump with full turn. Only one for body shape. First acro line, one <laughs> for body posture, one for leg cross, leg apart, and hop. Second acro line, one for bent leg, double tuck double pike sorry one for height one for feet and slight hop body leg separation on hop with full turn and three body shape for switch lip with full turn and one for precision and last one three for bent legs one for hop and three for balance Artistry deduction, poor body posture, insufficient amplitude of body parts, and feet not pointed. Total 0 0.3. Execution 2.1. Total execution deduction 2.4. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for your attention. Thank you, our Women Technical Committee. Thank you, Rima, for your support. Of course, AGU 
for their support and help <laughs> to organize our webinar. I hope it, it was very useful. Thank you very much, dear Luda. Thank you, well done. Uh, I also, by my turn, would like to thank you by my name and by the name of our technical committee colleague. So uh, that's it for the floor exercise. I hope, as she said, uh, that it was useful for everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, before we come to the conclusion of this webinar, I have something in the chat. Uh, since we didn't share the links for the questions today, uh, but uh, I'm happy that there is not much questions. There is one question from Kim from Korea about the D3. Maybe we can come back to D3 later. Uh, San Giovanni, you asked about the poor releve. For the floor exercise, we have only poor foot work, which is when the feet are relaxed, uh, not pointed or turned in. Poor work in releve, it's only belong to the artistry deduction of the balance beam. So I hope it's clear now. And about uh, Miss Kim from Korea, Kim Jia, uh, one, one full turn in tax stand DB, is it B? Yes, according to the new rule, one straight tax stand uh, with a straight leg on the side, on floor it's B. But remember the new rules for the tax stand turn, only one time we can uh, consider and count. If there is two, we take only the first one as in chronological order. Okay. Uh, Joy from Philippines, Rima, going back to the uneven bar, please post the connection value chart. <laughs> I don't know what you mean exactly, dear Joy. Connection value charts, it's already in the code of point in the new rules all. Nothing new, only the EE. Now one must be a flight. This is the new one. And also F plus D would take zero two. And both must be flight. And uh, any other questions? Thanks for the webinar. Thank you so much for your lovely words all. And for the D and E, is that one or two? I don't know what you mean, Joy, uh, about what you are asking, which apparatus? Mm. I think that's it. Uh, anyway, uh, don't worry. Whenever you have any questions, me and my colleague always here for your help. I, I try to uh, re reply and uh, answer as quick as possible. If not possible for uh, any other reasons like being busy or in travel, uh, we will be back to you as soon as possible. And sometimes if we are not sure, we will double check with the FIG Women Technical Committee and come back to you with the proper answers. And uh, which mail, sorry, you want us to share? You have the AGU uh, mail. You can ask anything to AGU and they will refer to me. They will transfer all your concerns or question to me, no problem. And you can get my email from AGU as well. Okay. I think nothing special. Okay, so coming to the last moment of our webinar for today also, I would like to thank you very much, dear judges, dear coaches, and all the participants from Asia and not only Asia from all over the world. I'm so happy to see you all here today with us. I'm happy to see peoples from uh, different places, from Finland or, or Norway, even from Cyprus, from Greece, from England, from Canada, uh, beside of course, our uh, lovely big continent Asia. So I would like to thank you by my name, by AGU name and by the name of my technical committee. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was uh, useful enough for you. Uh, we are trying to get well prepared before the test and the new cycle. And I would like to thank also, first of all, our Asian Gymnastics Union and our president, Mr. Abdurrahman al Shatri, for his continuous and endless support for all our sports and especially WAG also. I would like to thank my technical committee for their hard work and for their support. I would like to thank our hero always with us, uh, Mr. Marwan Abul Asal, 
for his uh, continuing um, technical and technological support. He's our IT manager. Thank you very much. And uh, I hope to see you very soon again in different platforms or different occasions. We will try to keep up the hard work and we will try our best to work, study, and make you share the study with us, maybe in the near future as well. And hopefully to see you face to face uh, in the new year uh, in the competitions, because we really miss to see each other face to face. It has different uh, meaning, I'm sure to all of us. Uh, but for now, keep the hard work and uh, stay safe, please. Any regards, any questions, you still can refer to me directly or to AGU and they will transfer your concerns to me and uh, to my technical committee. Okay, thank, thank, thank you, you very much all. Ria, for thank your you very much and, uh, for everybody. Just um, we will send as yesterday uh, session, we will send uh, by YouTube uh, the link once uh, been uploaded. Uh, this is the first thing, and we also will share the videos. Uh, um, uh, on Vimeo for all um, all exercises that has been uh, showed today. So you will receive everything by, by email, by today or by tomorrow. Thank you very much, Marwan, for your instant uh, uh, response. He's uh, very uh, quickly in uh, publishing and uploading everything. You have your videos, so you can watch your videos and then go back to the evaluation. You can see the sessions recorded in our YouTube channel educational channel for AGU. And uh, that's it for today. Thank you for being with us in this weekend, yesterday and today, Saturday and Sunday. Thank you for your time and uh, keep safe. Bye-bye. Uh, uh, Rima, let me take a screenshot just for social media. So okay. uh, for this okay. one, as, as many so people- So keep your there. smile, please. Cheese. <laughs> one, Gymnastic two. smile. Okay, here we go. Nobody's sleeping. So this is only screenshot. Okay. And maybe a thumb up for everybody. Show the thumb up on the picture. Yes. Okay, let me do another one also. Okay, another one. Here you go. Because there is many people <laughs> there, so just wait one more, please. Because it's uh, more cameras is there now. Thank you very much. We are a big family. Wait, Rima, please. Huh? Okay. Shall we get the hands down? No, no, just keep it. It's a... okay. Okay, so here we go. Another screenshot. I hope you can see all. Uh, I hope so. I think it's uh, we are it's done okay. now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No one. There is, you know, there is one more screen. Just wait because everybody <laughs> opened the camera. Okay. So, yes. Uh, let me see. I like the white smiles, everyone. Okay. Okay. Yeah, halas. Finito. Thank, Thank you, you very much for everybody. Thank you for your lovely words. Thank you for your appreciation. We just try to do our best. Uh, nothing goes easy, as you may know. We need a lot of time for every preparation. I'm sure you will do your best also in your countries, in your continent. I try to share the information as soon as possible with everybody. And you do the same, please support your countries and your zones and try to share the information with the judges because I need uh, WAG judges, especially in Asia to be stronger and more uh, ready for judging the new cycle. Thank you so much, stay safe. Bye-bye. Bye. Marvel, maybe you can uh, include screenshot to our email when you will send the... Um... Who is speaking? One one minute. Let me recognize you. Okay. Yeah, this Olga. Olga how are you? Olga from Kazakhstan. Привет, Olga. What time is it now in, in uh, there? <laughs> uh, three forty-one morning yeah. time. That's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Ooh, special so medal. I... Special medal. Uh, and the club goes for uh, Olga and for all those people who stayed awake with us until this yeah. time. Well Olga, done, really. Yeah, Olga, for uh, do you mean that you want to share all emails of the group here, or what do you, what do you mean exactly? Yeah, yeah, screenshot with the whole group. No, she just wanted to you to share the the picture yeah, of the screenshot. Yeah, only the picture. Shot. Yeah, yes. how how much you pay? <laughs> but when you're still no, not, <laughs> nothing free. You have to pay. <laughs> it's, Marwan, it's... Don't forget, you are still recording. <laughs> oh, it's okay. We, we will cut that now. <laughs> <laughs> record off, record off. Yeah, it's okay. So, you know, it's to have little fun, it's okay. We can keep it even, you know. So.
<laughs> so nothing special. Okay. Okay. So we will uh, end the uh, meeting now. Thank you uh, for everybody and uh, see you again soon. Thank bye you bye. so much. Bye. Bye 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 bye.